I think I didn't set something on top, actually. They have a nice lip on them. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right, let's get this. You see that it's picked. All right. It's a Miwa VM88. I've seen it picked, but the sidebar was kind of just like raked, not single pin picked. So I don't know what this is going to count as, but we'll find out in a sec. Let's fully gut it. Make sure the key still works. It does. I guess we'll do magnets first, because that side's actually easier to cut. But I suppose it doesn't really matter now, does it? Maybe I should get a different tray. I'm going to put these kind of far apart, so once I got it with the magnets, hopefully it won't collide with one another. So there's our four magnetic elements, and the magnets are retained in there, so once I get the core out, we'll get those out too. This camera a little bit so it's closer. 
closer to my working area. And these are cupped, so the lock actually won't even operate if you don't put these drivers in the right way. No, no, don't do that. Just mangled that one a little bit. That's the empty one. Okay. These springs are uh, a problem. See that? I didn't fucking touch the thing. They're ready to fire off. because I foresee myself losing those doing what I was doing. I should put this over one because it was pinned with the center part. The center one was not pinned. And I probably should have left the, uh, something in there so this would be easier to get off, but I didn't. So here we go. Quit it. Just gonna put the smallest, most annoying clip on here that we can put on, huh? Uh, meanwhile, doesn't help that I probably didn't calibrate these. Oh, whatever. 
a little bit mangled, but we're getting there. Alright, now where are these guys are gonna come out on this side? Oh, yeah, one jumped. But when you put the key in, these move up. So at rest, it's pushed in. You can see it right here. And when you put the key in, it pushes them out of the way. So that pushes these drivers out. So that's how it's sitting in the lock. Something like that. And there's a bevel on here, so you don't even have to set them super well. Just kind of close counts. Is in these pockets right here, pushed out by the magnets and the key. The top stack apparently is only normally pinned for four, and the one that it's missing is random. So that's the plug, core, key, housing. focus I probably didn't adjust that well so it probably looks like trash go over everything one more time drivers were kind of fun I didn't realize at first how much that little step comes into play reminds me a lot of Kaba where I had to pick them all twice. Hopefully you can see the lip on that driver. And the pin stacks are just about balanced, like you would expect from Miwa, so that's kind of fun. Alright. There's our key, and our bidding was... see that that is a magnet those are very clearly all magnets those are magnets all right now we're just playing magnets are punched in and then they press this little piece in the back which I thought was kind of interesting on the key But anyways, Miwa VM88 picked and gutted. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. And cheers. Talk to you later. Oh, I should probably cover tools used. Magnets on a stick. This one's positive. Magnet on a stick. 
is negative. Mark spacing. There's my spacing mark for the one on this side. And then it was three on the other side. So if you look, there's our, barring that one, you can see our approximate spacing for all those chambers. And yeah, Jimmy Long's flat, because these pins were really small and easy to slip off of. Very sharp. Um, yeah, some tensioners. Um, setting the magnets, the movement required to set that driver was not as much as many other magnetic locks I've picked, so it was very subtle. I'd almost just let off tension and give it a little scrub, and you could hear a click. And if you hear the click, that means something moved. And it was really hard to get feedback from a set element on the magnet side, but they were they would actually go just very slightly when I did an up and down movement versus an in and out movement. So, food for thought. Um, yeah, so back to the thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers. Later.